Actually, for a while, when I first got into matcha, I only drank it with coconut milk. If you want sugar in your matcha, just go to Starbucks. Hi, and welcome back to Veggies by Eos. I have yet another Starbucks video. I have many. I'll link some of them below because there's too many to count at this point. But in this video, I just try some more Starbucks drinks. I have a new matcha drink to share with you. It's actually pretty much what I normally get, but I added strawberry drizzle. So I'll just read off the whole thing too, but this is like kind of my go-to matcha. So I got the vanilla sweet cream, cold foam, light ice, the strawberry drizzle, which is new, soy milk, which I always do, three pumps of sugar-free vanilla, which this is for a venti. I'd do less pumps if it was like a grande. And then it usually comes with four scoops of matcha powder. I decided to do five scoops. Oh, I hate getting more scoops because there's sugar in it, but I did like the five scoops. Anyway, I got all this stuff because it was a free drink. So this drink would have been $8.50, but I had 150 points, so I was able to get a free drink. So I got an $8.50 drink for free, which was nice. And with the strawberry drizzle, so it was good. I kind of want to try caramel drizzle. I do think caramel, oh my God, my dog is about to die. You need help? Okay, let's see this blanket. Okay, get off the blanket. There you go. You can do it. I'm just gonna talk while, while she stands there. Anyway, um, I like the strawberry drizzle. I don't know. I feel like it would probably taste better in a different drink. Like it was okay in matcha, it was kind of weird. And like since it costs extra, I will say I would never pay for it. But if I have a free drink, I would go ahead and get it again if it's gonna be free, but I wouldn't pay for it. So that's my stance on the strawberry drizzle or whatever it's called. I wouldn't pay for it, but if I'm getting a free drink, I would get it again. But I definitely want to try the caramel drizzle. I think caramel drizzle would just taste better with matcha, but strawberry is not bad. Actually, speaking of strawberries and matcha, if you go to Smoothie King and get their strawberry matcha smoothie, it's actually pretty good. It doesn't really taste like matcha, but it tastes really good. So if you have a Smoothie King near you, download the app. Actually, I have like, I think I have a promo code. Download the app, you get free smoothies. Yes. Another day, another Starbucks drink. And this one was inspired by Lauren Norris. So she just posted a video of her trying seven different Starbucks drinks. I can link that video below. I really enjoyed it. And this one sounded the best out of everything. Sorry, there's construction outside. It's not gonna stop. But anyway, this one sounded the best. And what this is, is an iced passion fruit tea lemonade. And like, I like passion fruit. It's not my favorite thing in the world, but I like it. But I don't know. It's good but I think I prefer green tea. Like I wouldn't never get it again, I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely good, but not my favorite. I definitely prefer either green tea or matcha to that. I actually decided to go ahead and make a matcha since I like, I, it, again, this drink isn't bad, but like I want a matcha, like I really want a matcha. And I found this at Target, so I think you can buy this at like any grocery store. Never had it before. All you do is fill halfway up with that liquid and then the rest of the halfway with milk. And it looks pretty. I have not tried it yet. I want to try it for the camera. I also filled it like all the way up. I'm just gonna try it here. Hmm. I will say my first reaction is it tastes kind of artificial. Let me mix it more. It's really not that good. Like, I don't think I'm gonna buy that again because I was really excited because, you know, if you're, for example, I'm gonna be visiting my sister for like eight days so like I can't well I guess I can I'll probably just bring my matcha powder and my little milk frother but I was like something like this would be really handy you can just buy this at the grocery store buy milk and that's literally all you need you just mix it so I wanted it to be really good but it's not it's not terrible but I'm not gonna buy it again if anyone has ever seen this in the grocery store and they were wondering if it's worth trying I would say no. I mean, they have other stuff too. They have like tons of different teas. Maybe their other teas are good. So I'm not saying the brand is bad, but I'm saying their matcha that you like buy like this and you're supposed to mix with milk. I would say, uh, I would say do not buy it. Yeah, I just took another sip. It just kind of tastes artificially and there is sugar in there. That's one of the reasons why I kind of don't like getting matcha at Starbucks because they add so much sugar to it. But Starbucks matcha is like 10 out of 10. And this is like... Oh, hi candy, just not good. So yeah, if you want sugar in your matcha, just go to Starbucks. Candy, are you saying hello? Are you saying hello? You're so cute. I'm sorry the light's shining on you. I got to turn that off. And Kaya. She's happy, she wants matcha. So remember how I said I hated that matcha? She actually likes it. Yeah, the Tazo matcha with uh, with soy milk. Yeah, we added it's, soy milk. It's good, it tastes as good as Starbucks. 
See, and I told them that Starbucks is like way, way, way better. Well, yeah, it is a little better, but this is this is good. This is the closest of all the ones you've gotten. Really? That I think tastes similar to Starbucks. Okay. Well, I guess I guess maybe you should try it because I don't like it, but she does. So maybe just <laughs> different taste buds. Like I said, it is really convenient because you just buy the box at the grocery store and buy soy milk or whatever your favorite milk is, and you just mix them together. And it's like a liquid that yeah. you pour in. Yeah, so it's extremely, extremely easy to make. Uh -huh. You don't need a milk frother or anything. If you do like the taste of it, yeah, it's really easy to make. Anything else? No. Okay. I love dogs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've been meaning to film for this video for a very long time. I actually have three drinks that I need to update you on, so sorry I don't have them with me, but I do remember how they tasted, so I will go ahead and talk about these three drinks. Also, starting with the last time I made this video, I started putting all of my drinks in the description, so as I'm talking about a drink, if you think that that sounds good and you want to try that, you don't have to like go back in the video and figure out where I was talking about it. You can just check out the description. So, the first First drink that I want to talk about. You probably, if you've seen any of these videos, you probably know that my favorite Starbucks drink of all time is the iced matcha latte with soy milk and then two to three pumps of sugar-free vanilla. The sugar-free vanilla is not very strong or powerful, so especially if I'm getting a venti, I do usually get three pumps, which is still less than the standard. The standard is actually six pumps. Like, six pumps is way too much syrup of any kind. So anyway, I do get three pumps of the sugar-free vanilla, although three pumps of like any of their other syrups is way too overpowering. But here I am always talking about the sugar-free vanilla. I had actually never tried their regular vanilla syrup until the other day, so I got a grande iced matcha latte with soy milk and two pumps of the vanilla syrup. I did get a grande, so I only wanted to get two pumps. And honestly, overall, it does taste very similar to the sugar-free one. I feel like usually when you get sugar-free, the sugar-free tastes a lot different and a lot worse, but the sugar-free vanilla at Starbucks is actually really good. I would just say the vanilla is a little bit stronger, but they do taste very similar to the point where like, is the vanilla good? Yes, but I think I'm going to just continue to opt for the sugar-free vanilla just because it's less sugar and it tastes very similar. Let me know if you have a different experience with this, but in my opinion, Starbucks sugar-free vanilla versus the regular vanilla is pretty similar. Let me know if you disagree with me. I'd actually be really interested to know if there's anyone out there that's like, no, I hate the sugar-free vanilla, but in my opinion, they're similar enough to the point where I'm just gonna keep getting the sugar-free one because as you probably already know, I've talked about this in videos before, but the matcha powder that they use is not just matcha powder, it's actually matcha powder mixed with sugar. So there's already sugar in your matcha when you get matcha at Starbucks, so I'd rather not get more sugar. That's why it's so good, because there's sugar in it. But yeah, I would recommend just going for the sugar-free vanilla, because it's still really good. The second trick I tried was again an iced matcha latte with soy milk, and instead of three pumps of my sugar-free vanilla, which is what I normally get, I tried three pumps of the caramel syrup. Now I've heard that caramel, I think it's Natalie Stadwick that said she really likes caramel with matcha and so I tried it. I will say three pumps is too much. If you're gonna try it, get one or two pumps. The three pumps was way too overpowering. But I'm also gonna say I'm not sure I'd recommend it at all. I think caramel tastes great in a coffee type drink but it just doesn't really go with matcha. Was it terrible? No. It honestly kind of made it more so taste like coffee somehow. Like it didn't taste like coffee, but it kind of almost did. So I don't know, if you're more of a coffee person, I'd actually maybe say try this. But in my opinion, I'm never gonna get it again. It takes away the matcha flavor and it just didn't really taste like matcha. It wasn't bad and I do think some people would like it, especially if you like more of a caramely coffee. I don't know why it tasted like coffee. I could be making that up, but in my opinion, it kind of tasted like coffee. It was kind of weird, but that is my second drink. Now, the third drink I want to talk about is another drink that is extremely similar to what I normally get. So it is an iced matcha latte with the three pumps of sugar-free vanilla, which is what I normally get. But instead of soy milk, I tried coconut milk. And I will say, I do like the coconut milk with the pineapple syrup. They're like pineapple matcha drink. Oh, Candy's gonna join. <gasps> Oh, she's licking me. Anyway, as I was saying, I like I like coconut milk in general with matcha. Like I've gotten coconut milk at other places and I've gotten it at Starbucks with the, doesn't that drink have a name? 
It's their like coconut pineapple drink. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. I have like two videos about it, so I'll link those below. No, don't run away. She's trying to escape. Anyway, long story short, I like coconut milk. Actually, for a while, when I first got into matcha, I only drank it with coconut milk. So I figured, you know what? I like coconut milk with matcha, and I love the sugar-free vanilla. Let's try that combo. I will say, I would not recommend it. I like coconut milk and I like the sugar-free vanilla, but just together, it's a weird combo. I don't know why. Like really, I, I don't know why it didn't work, but it didn't work at all. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but I wouldn't get it again. Let's just say that. So if you want to try a vanilla, but see, I feel like I've gotten coconut milk matchas with vanilla at this one place in Denver. I'm pretty, yeah, Sparrow something coffee in Denver. They were amazing. If you're ever in Denver or near Denver, go there. Their matcha and, oh man, they had strawberry croissants that were so good. If I ever go back to Denver, that's like the number one spot I'm definitely going back to. But yeah, I definitely got a coconut milk matcha with vanilla there and it was very good. So it, I guess it's just Starbucks coconut milk they use in the vanilla. I don't know. It, it wasn't great. So overall, I am going to just go back to my normal drink. Again, my normal drink would be the iced matcha latte with soy milk and then three pumps of the sugar-free vanilla. Or I guess if you're getting a grande, like only two pumps of it. I usually get a venti just because 16 ounces for matcha is too small, but the venti is too big. I wish they had a size in the middle, but they don't. So I usually, if I'm getting a matcha from Starbucks, I usually end up getting a venti. Actually, another quick thought, let me know if you prefer just like sit down videos like this where I talk about the drink or if you prefer more like live in action, drink in my hand, trying it for the first time. Cause I kind of have both in my videos and I'm actually not sure what people prefer. If you guys prefer one way or the other, I can do like all of them like this or all of them like that. I mean, to be fair, I didn't have my camera with me for these three drinks, which is why I didn't do that. If you prefer it that way, I can try to make it happen. But those were my three drinks I wanted to talk about. Thank you for watching. Let me know if there are any drinks that I should try because I will probably do another video like this. So leave your favorite drinks in the comments and I'll probably try them. This was originally me trying other people's drinks, but now I kind of just try whatever I want. But yeah, if you do leave a drink in the comments, I'll probably try it. So go ahead and do that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.